Welcome to a thrilling adventure where we explore the wonderful worlds of the farm and the zoo. Have you ever wondered why a cow lives in a barn and a lion lives in a savanna habitat? This is your chance to become an animal explorer and discover the special homes of all your favorite creatures. We'll learn that animals live in different places based on their needs and that both farms and zoos are carefully designed to be safe, comfortable homes for the animals that live there. First, let's pull on our boots and visit the sunny, open fields of the farm. Here, reindeer are the only deer species in which both sexes grow antlers, though males are typically larger. Reindeer have been domesticated in northern Eurasia for thousands of years by indigenous peoples, especially the salmon. Reindeer dig through snow to eat lichen, a moss-like plant often called reindeer moss. Reindeer migrate farther than any other land mammal up to 3,000 miles Leopards are highly adaptable and can live in forests, mountains, grasslands, and even deserts. Leopards are mostly solitary and territorial animals. They are primarily active at night, nocturnal, hunting and patrolling their territory. Leopards often drag their prey up into trees to keep it safe from scavengers like hyenas. Leopards eat a wide range of animals, deer, antelope, birds, monkeys, and even fish. Moose are strong swimmers and can swim up to six miles, 10 kilometers, without stopping. They can even dive up to 20 feet, 6M, underwater to feed. Moose are often found near lakes, rivers, and wetlands where they can access aquatic plants and cool off. Moose can be very dangerous, especially if threatened or during rutting season. Collisions with vehicles are a serious concern due to their size and height. Moose are strong swimmers and can swim up to 6 miles, 10 kilometers, without stopping. They can even dive up to 20 feet. Goats were among the first animals to be domesticated over 10,000 years ago in the Middle East. Goats are strictly herbivores. They eat grass, leaves, shrubs, bark, and weeds, but not trash, despite the myth. Goats have horizontal rectangular pupils. This gives them wide peripheral vision to spot predators. They chew cud to help digest tough plant material in a four-chambered stomach. Goats were among the first animals to be domesticated over 10,000 years ago in the Middle East. Gorillas are part of the great ape family, along with humans, chimpanzees, and orangutans. Gorillas use tools, show emotions, and can learn sign language. For example, Coco, the gorilla. Gorillas mostly eat leaves, fruit, stems, and bamboo. Occasionally, they may eat ants or termites. Mature male gorillas are called silverbacks, Horses can sleep while standing thanks to a special locking system in their legs, but they need to lie down for deep sleep. Horse's eyes are on the sides of its head, giving it a nearly 360 degrees view, except directly in front and behind. Horses can learn commands, 
recognize human emotions, and remember people for years. Horses naturally live in herds. Sheep have amazing memories. They can recognize faces of other sheep and even humans and remember them for years. Sheep are very social animals and like to stay in groups. They often follow the leader. That's where the phrase follow like sheep comes from. Sheep say ba to communicate with each other. Lambs and their mothers can recognize each other by their unique sounds. Sheep grow thick wool that keeps them warm. Their wool is used to make clothes, blankets, and socks. Sheep have amazing memories. They can recognize faces of other sheep and even humans and remember them for years. Elephants mourn their dead. They will touch and revisit the bones of deceased companions. They display complex emotions like joy, grief, compassion, and even humor. An elephant's trunk has around 40,000 muscles used for breathing, smelling, touching, grabbing, and trumpeting. Elephants are herbivores, eating 150, 300 kilograms, 330, 660 pounds of food daily. While Asian elephants have smaller, rounded ears, dogs were domesticated from wolves over 15,000 years ago, making them one of the first domesticated animals. Dogs can see in the dark better than humans, due to a structure called the tapetum lucidum in their eyes. Dogs come in an astonishing range of sizes from the tiny chihuahua, about 2 pounds, to the massive English mastiff, up to 250 pounds. Dogs form strong bonds with their humans and can experience separation anxiety when left alone too long. Dogs were domesticated from wolves over 15,000 years ago, about two pounds. Cows are gentle farm animals known for giving us milk, which is used to make cheese, yogurt, butter, and more. Cows are very social animals and form close bonds with other cows, often having best friends in their herd. Cows have been domesticated for over 10,000 years and are important for dairy, meat, leather, and farming in many cultures. Cows are herbivores and eat only plants like grass, hay, and grains, often chewing for six, eight hours a day. Zebras live in groups, herds, and often form strong family bonds. Plain zebras form harems, one male with several females and foals, while Grevy's zebras are more solitary. Zebras live in savannas, grasslands, woodlands, shrublands, and even mountainous regions across eastern and southern Africa. Zebras are hindgut fermenters, meaning they digest food in their cecum and colon, allowing them to extract nutrients from low-quality forage. Zebras live in groups, herds. Giraffes were once thought to be silent but they actually make low humming sounds, especially at night, to communicate. Giraffes are the tallest land animals on Earth. Adult males can grow up to 18 feet, 5.5 meters, tall. Giraffes are herbivores, they only eat plants, 
especially the leaves of acacia trees, which they love. Despite their size, giraffes can run up to 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per h. and visit the sunny, open fields of the farm. Here, we meet animals that are domesticated, which means they have lived with people for a long, long time. We'll hear the roosters crow and see pigs rolling in the mud, sheep grazing in the pasture, and horses in the stable. 